Hello again brothers and sisters in Christ there. Yeah? Archbishop Thomas Carver here today. I'd like to talk to you all about the truth of the heart. Going back in time about four or five years ago, the clergy of Lord Real were asked a question, if the Lord would appear to us and ask us what you have learned in this life, what would it be? My answer was as follows. The deepest wounds in life are not made by the thorns, but by the rose. My meaning in these words, where well, wounds of the flesh soon heal, but wounds of the heart from the ones you love most are not so quickly washed away and take that little bit longer to heal. Looking back at what our Lord suffered for us all through the crucifixion, can any of us honestly say that we are worthy of him and his new kingdom? After all, for what he has done for humanity, I look and see nearly 9,000 brethren within the congregation and only a few people are willing to spread the word of his return or even tith one dollar a week to your Lord as you would much prefer to go clubbing or buy the latest cell phone. Do you now still think that you're really worthy in all honesty of the heart? But John said, John 3.16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So now back to my words of my answer to the question we were all asked so long ago and have come back to me today. We are all the Lord's family and he has both felt the thorns being pushed into his head and now you all wound his heart. So if your daily toil is a struggle and your prayers are not simply being answered, then remember the rose. Here's Matthew 22 eh? Then he said to his servants, The wedding feast is ready, but those invited are not worthy. Philippians 4.8 Finally, brothers, what is true, what is ever honourable, what is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, Whatever is commendable, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about all these things. May the Father bless you, brothers and sisters, in the holy name of his living Son, Lord Raya. Amen. Amen. Those within the Ecumenical Order of Christ are pleased and honored to provide everyone with the whole truth behind history, religion, and end time prophecies. Through our teachings and testimonies, each clergy member is dedicated to seeking out all matters and presenting the unadulterated evidences clearly with the divine guidance of the returned Christ, Lord Ra'el. We strive to be a light in this dark world, and you can too by helping spread these messages. Many of us have given up our comfortable lives in today's society, and we now live through the kindness and generosity of others in order to pursue the higher path of knowledge. If you wish to continue learning more truths and would like to help us continue our mission, you can do so by sending even a small donation to sanctuaryinterfaithisrael at gmail.com on PayPal. Check us out online at sanctuaryinterfaith.org, lordrael.org, and armageddonbroadcastnetwork.tv. Don't forget to join us online at the International Congregation of Lord Rael on both Facebook and VK. Please be sure to check out all of the links in the description field. Remember to love God and each other. Thank you and God bless.